During this tough time, the Princess of Wales had enough support from other members, including the royal family and the Middletons. While the Prince of Wales has been at his wife's side, her parents, Carol and Michael, appear to have been eagerly on hand. One source close to the Wales family revealed Catherine's mother was desperately upset after watching her beloved daughter tell the world of her cancer fight. And now it has urged the public to extend its sympathies to devastated Mother Carol, who has had to watch on while frenzied conspiracy theorists scribe cruel claims about her daughter online, all while knowing the reality of the princess's condition. Catherine and Carol are known to have a close bond, and sources say that the princess's mother has avidly supported the family behind the scenes, so it's safe to say that Carol Middleton will be supporting our princess through her cancer treatment. Her parents live just a short drive away from the Wales Adelaide Cottage residence, with the grandparents reportedly helping their son-in-law with school-run duties while their daughter has been recovering from surgery. The princess's recent outing with mother marked her first sighting since Christmas Day. The royal was pictured sitting in the passenger seat of Carol's 4x4 Audi near Windsor Castle. A witness said, It was a lovely sunny day and Kate was being driven by her mum. The princess was sitting in the passenger seat wearing dark sunglasses, but it looked well that the other two women were talking to each other. Carol and her husband Michael have been long known for their hands-on parenting approach and often host their grandchildren for sleepovers. Catherine's parents have been brilliant, according to friends, at stepping in and helping out. They will always drop everything at a moment's notice. They were a key part of Prince George's life from the get-go, with William and Catherine immediately decamping to Buckleberry a day after leaving the Lindo Wing, and proud grandfather Michael overseeing the future king's first photo shoot in the garden a month later. Carol's decision to step back from the day-to-day running of her online party paraphernalia business last year has given her more free time to help out with the grandchildren and support her granddaughter. The insiders who knew the Middleton children at school said the family was notorious for doing everything to the very highest standards. There were huge picnics on sports day, the smartest tennis rackets, that kind of thing. It made the rest of us feel rather hopeless, a fellow parent told the outlet. Ultimately, Carol has played a blinder as a mother. Not only are all of her children unfairly good-looking, they're also famously charming. Always the first to write a thank-you letter. They dance all night and are still the first up in the morning, plumping cushions and washing up. Carol has always been reported as one of the girls with her daughters, meaning they would never shy away from involving their mother in their life. The princess's parents, who were also able to provide a privileged upbringing for the princess, who attended the famous Wiltshire boarding school, Marlborough College. Both Catherine, Pippa, and James attended the institution, and it's said to have transformed the future queen from a shy, bullied girl to a hockey captain that snagged a prince. Although Carol rarely gives interviews, she's given occasional glimpse into her family's life, describing how she puts Christmas trees in their bedroom at home every year. The mother of three has also previously revealed how she keeps the grandchildren entertained by encouraging them to get involved in gardening. She told, If I'm doing planting with my grandmother, I'd like to have it all laid out as an activity station with their own little trowel and pot so they could get started immediately. She added, It's important for children to grow up appreciating nature, and part of it is allowing them to get a bit muddy.